In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus NaBr, silver nitrate plus sodium bromide. First thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. In this case, it's already balanced, so that's kind of nice. Next, we can write the state for each substance. This silver nitrate compound, nitrates are very soluble, so we're going to write Aq. It's going to be aqueous. It'll split apart into its ions and dissolve, dissociate. Sodium compounds are also very soluble. Aqueous, get another nitrate. But for the silver bromide, let's look that up on a solubility chart. Silver compounds often are insoluble. So here's the chart, and we find silver right here. And here's the bromide. We go down, and there's that I, insoluble. That means that it will not dissolve in water. So when this reaction takes place, we'll have the silver nitrate and the sodium bromide reacting. They'll produce sodium nitrate. But the silver bromide, it'll be a solid. It won't dissolve, so it'll precipitate out, fall to the bottom of the test tube. Because of that, we write S for solid after it. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions, and this will give us our complete ionic equation. So silver is always one plus. Good one to remember. The nitrate ion, the whole thing, one minus. We have Ag plus plus our nitrate ion, NO3 minus. And I won't write the states now. Let's do that at the end. Sodium group one has a positive charge. Bromine, that's the negative. So we have Na plus and then the bromide ion, Br minus. Those are our reactants. We have our positive and negative charge here. In the products, we have sodium, Na plus, then the nitrate ion. And then for the silver bromide, with net ionic equations, when we have solids, we don't split those apart. So we're just going to write AgBr. It stays together. It's a solid. This is the complete or total ionic equation. Next, we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of our complete or ionic equation. They haven't changed, so we're not interested in them. For example, in the reactants, we have a nitrate ion. We have one in the products. Cross them out. We have a sodium ion here in the reactants, and the same thing in the products. It hasn't changed. We cross it out. What's left is the net ionic equation. I'll clean this up and write the states in, and we'll have the net ionic equation for AgNO3 plus Na. BR. And this is the balanced net ionic equation for silver nitrate plus sodium bromide. You'll notice that the positive and negative charge, they balance out. We have a neutral product. We have one silver atom, one silver atom in the products, one bromine, and one bromine here. So everything is balanced and we're done. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.